And now we're going to make the multi-grain loaves. This has a lot of great stuff in it. Oats, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, soaked bulgur wheat, and cooked wheat berries. Nice and plump once they're cooked. And the first step is proof the yeast. We need two packages of active dry yeast. Because this is a heavy bread and it has a lot of grains in it, you need two packages of yeast. Generally, um, two loaves of bread really require one package of yeast. In a half a cup of warm water, no hotter than 115 degrees. And for the food, instead of using sugar, we're using two teaspoons of honey. This is my flower honey, which I adore, right from my beehives. We had a bumper crop last year. I hope this year is as good. Let this just proof. You can whisk it up a little bit with a wire whisk. Okay, so assemble the rest of the ingredients. So measure out your flour into a big bowl. One cup of rye flour, two and three quarters cup whole wheat flour. The rye flour, you might have a little bit of a challenge finding it. You can get it online very easily, but uh, you can also find it in baking supply stores and in gourmet markets. We have so many of those markets in New York, we kind of take it for granted that everybody can find such things. But uh, I'm sure you'll find it if you look for it. So that's two and three quarters cups of whole wheat flour and two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. With two tablespoons of kosher salt. And you can just whisk this all together. So there, we have our dry ingredients, we have our grains, we have melted butter, four tablespoons of melted butter, and the yeast which is ready to put straight into the bowl. Bread making is a good habit. And I think once people determine that it's fun and that it is healthy, I think uh, that's when they get hooked on making bread. So three tablespoons of honey. One and three quarters cup plus two tablespoons of warm water. Oh, and don't forget the butter, four tablespoons of melted butter. And you can add several cups of the flour mixture. And we're using a dough hook from the start. As it mixes, add a little bit more of the dry. You can up the speed a little bit. So now finish off your dry, and now you can add the grains at one and a third cups of cooked wheat berries. Add the one cup of soaked bulgur. All you do is soak the bulgur wheat in water. Half a cup of flax seed. Oh, and a half a cup of rolled oats. And a third of a cup of sunflower seeds. I know my wild birds would love this bread. Because this is a dense dough, you will want to knead it until it's really coming away from the sides of the bowl. Okay, so this is very well mixed but you can see that it is still very, very sticky. I'm gonna turn it out now and knead it for about, oh, three or four minutes to incorporate just maybe a little bit more flour. So here, get this turned out. Have a bench scraper ready. Mm, doesn't that look healthy just by just looking at it and smelling it? It's uh, a healthy loaf. Little bit of flour on it. Now, when starting to knead bread, use a bench scraper in one hand, just in case you need your hand for something, because your other hand might get very sticky. And to have two hands sticky, use the heel of your hand and push the dough away from you. The bowl is buttered. It will take this dough 
and the dough will rise until it's about doubled in size. That takes about an hour for this dough. So there, I think that is well kneaded. The dough looks good. Plunk it down in the bowl, cover it with plastic wrap, spray the top with a little bit of vegetable spray. and let it rise about an hour to an hour and a half. Now it's only for this show that magic happens. The dough has doubled in size and you again deflate it. Processes are pretty similar and cut this in half. You can get that out of the bowl, cut it as evenly as you can. You can weigh it if you wanna make sure that the loaves are perfect. Most bakeries would weigh it. And again, flatten it out into a rectangle and roll it and fold it, turning in the ends and sealing this bottom seam. And there. It's very nice. Put it right into the pan. Work quickly. This is not a difficult thing to do and you should not be afraid of your dough. Roll it up, turn in the ends. Fun part is making the loaves. Oh, and the dough feels great. It's heavy, but it's laden with good grains. Now, we brush the tops with one egg white mixed with a little bit of water. No yolk, just the egg white. And this will help the decorative grains that are gonna be on the outside of the loaf adhere. And then just a tablespoon of flax sprinkled lightly. These are so shiny and pretty. Some of the oats. And sunflower seeds. And there, ready to rise again before they go into the oven to rise even further and form those beautiful multi-grain loaves. About an hour until they double in bulk. So here are the loaves doubled in size and they go right into a 450 degree oven. Mm. They look so good. Now immediately reduce the temperature and let them bake at 400 degrees for 45 minutes. So the loaves are out of the oven you can extricate them from the pans. They've cooled a little bit, so I can handle them. But they're well done, really well done. There they are. What beautiful, beautiful breads. Let them cool thoroughly before you try to cut them. And they will stay for three or four days perfectly good for sandwiches, toast, and for just bread and butter.